Each user has several options that are available from the My Account menu. The first setting is under System, and it's called the Class Session Summary. After each class, the teacher who runs the class gets an email that has details about the class. It has a list of the most common sites that were used by students, and then the top five sites that each student has used. So this enables or disables that email from being sent to the teacher. During the chat and the announce feature, the student sees the teacher's name. And often the teacher's name is the full name that either was imported from Google Directory or manually entered. And this allows the teacher to enter their name as they're known to the student instead of by first name or last name, such as Mr. Johnson, without seeing the first name, last name format. Enable notification sounds for chat and hand raise. This enables it on the teacher device. So again, this may be one of those things that is enabled during remote teaching and disabled for uh, in-person classes. Um, playing sound when the student enters class, that is particularly useful again for remote teaching um, and particularly useful in remote teaching for those asynchronous type classes where the whole class is not meeting at the same time, but rather the teacher may be online for an extended period like two or three hours or something called office hours where students can drop in and out at any time. This allows the, the teacher to have that class session running and kind of off to the side while they do other work. Um, and then they hear a little sound whenever a student opens their Chromebook, they come online, they hear a little doorbell sound, they know there's a student online, they can check in and offer to chat with them, see if they need help, that sort of thing. And then this last option, force the chat window open. Um, if this is not selected, the student just gets a glowing bubble that uh, indicates to them the teacher you know, needs to chat with them. Um, and force the chat window open makes it pop open automatically, um, which takes up about the right third of the student's screen.